Top of the afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Oliver Nye. Special guest star here in the bow of the boat, Mr. Parker Wright. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to his YouTube channel. He promises he's going to try and put some videos up for you guys. Uh, in the meantime, subscribe to this channel here. and Also subscribe to the Big Bass Streams channel. Uh, lots and lots of content we're still struggling to get through and put out there in the universe for you guys to digest. Doing a special mail call today and we are actually on the water and what better place to showcase some of this new product than where we're hoping to put it to use. I uh, just got a shipment in from the man himself, Mr. Ben Collar, at the Hookup Tackle. And this bad boy right here is what I'm most excited to talk to you guys about. Did a little poll the other day on Instagram. Apparently you guys want to hear my thoughts on this puppy right here. Brand new from Daiwa USA, Tatula 300. And I have had the fortune of fishing some of the early prototype models this year, uh, mostly in the saltwater scene. You guys saw the video fishing with Randy Spicer um, and the kicker fishing crew uh, back at Clemente Island. Uh, you'll see that I was actually fishing a prototype Tatula 300. So I've got a little bit of experience in the real world to compare for you guys. And we're also going to talk about some of the differences that I've observed uh, between the new generation Tatula 300 and the Lexa Win version and the Lexa HD. I started fishing these newer generation Lexas uh, this past year. 2020 has been straight Daiwa. Now I'll be completely honest with you guys. First generation Lexas, I thought they were good reels, but I wasn't in love with them. That's definitely changed. This is actually last year's wind grip model Lexa, which still has the double paddle handle. Okay, which is really nice. It's a, it's a handle that most bass fishermen are, are familiar with and comfortable with. Okay, it's got those wind grip knobs on it. But what I really fell in love with this year was the HD series Lexus. I believe the, the gears are cut from stainless steel. We've got that big power handle, which I've gotten accustomed to fishing inshore saltwater over the years. But uh, as you guys may have seen from some of the content, like on Clear Lake, uh, we're catching six, seven, eight, and a couple nine pound fish on the big bait uh, with these big single handle HD model Lexus. As far as largemouth bass fishing goes, I did find myself preferring this 300 platform. Palms easier in my hands. Uh, I don't have huge hands, so that 400 was a big beefy reel. It's definitely nice when you're fishing heavier diameter lines, 100 pound braid, 30, 40 pound fluorocarbon and mono, but for most bass fishing applications, I've really settled on this 300 size, which is what has got me super excited about the Tatula. And I'm gonna be transparent with you guys. When I got word from some of the Daiwa team that there was this new project coming out for ICAST 2020, and that it would be a swim bait or big bait specific reel, I was hoping for like a bigger reel. And I was hoping for a round reel, but let me give you guys a little background on that. When I was fishing the early round reels of the mid and late 2000s, that technology just wasn't there. The gearing was subpar, uh, and a couple of big opportunities came back and haunted me and still haunt me to this day. So the only thing that had the guts and the capability to, to just power these fish like I do, as you guys have seen countless times, Dude, this one was like so big you couldn't even hardly begin to fish it almost, with, especially with musky gear. Like a half acre of logs. Yeah! Oh, he seems good. I'm gonna keep digging back with the boat so he doesn't pull us into that wood. Are you kidding me? Uh, 
Patrick after the call. I've oh, seen muskies in this one. Gosh. Dude. <laughs> Yo. Is that bigger than the first one? I think it is. Oh, it's built like it. Dude. Dear God. She. The way she was pulling the boat, I was like. Has been a round reel up until now. As, as you've seen throughout the course of this year already, big smallmouth, big largemouth, muskies, pike, all overpowered with these Daiwa Lexas. So it doesn't matter if you're fishing the Wind Grip Lexa, Lexa HD, or this new Tatula that we're testing in the saltwater scene, you're gonna have the guts, the gearing, the power to hook these fish, control them, and land them. Just very, very important. Now one of the key differences that I noticed between the Lexas and the Tatulas has been how much more of a refined feel these Tatulas have. Now I've absolutely fallen in love with the standard size Tatulas, the Tatula Elite, that 150 to 200 size frame and having it in this bigger swim bait applicable model has, uh, has got me ready to spool this thing up and start tossing some bigger baits here as that evening window starts to approach but yeah let me give you guys let me give you guys some specs right off the box so i went with the seven to one gear ratio uh, there's three gear ratios available there's a six to one seven to one and an eight to one i do plan on picking up a couple of six to ones for creeping soft baits on the bottom specifically for big baits one of the applications that i'm really pumped up for with this reel is using that six to one gear ratio and throwing a big deep diving crankbait a long way. That slower gear ratio is gonna be key in fishing that bait at the right speed and the right depth with the right cadence. And it's gonna have the line capacity to really send this thing, like farther than most people are used to seeing baits being sent. So I've got four of these 300s here that I'm gonna be spooling up in a rigging, including a lefty, because I'm ambidextrous and the girlfriend uses a lefty, so she needs a big bait reel now that she's got a bigger big bait smallmouth than I do. Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill one up with braid, I'm gonna fill one up with fluorocarbon to start, and if you guys watch uh, my 2020 swim bait rod breakdown uh, on the Big Bass Streams channel, you can see when and where I choose a particular style of line over another for what application. So, so today I'm going to rig two of these up. One's going to be rigged up with a big soft bait in mind, probably a Defiant 210, maybe a 247, or a weedless six inch Magdraft Freestyle, or maybe Parker's going to want to throw this new bait he got from the homie Raphael. We will see. but. For the soft baits, I'm going to rig one up on a Mega Bass USA Destroyer, Onager, Onager, nobody knows what the correct, correct pronunciation is apparently. Okay, as you guys see, uh, we're fishing here in pretty shallow water, lots of cover. So I want to be able to control those fish if and when I do hook them. Okay, and if I'm going to throw anything with trebles, I slide 185, uh, this Clash. I want a, more of a moderate fast action rod. Okay, and I've got first generation Orochi Double X Leviathan. Caught hundreds and hundreds of fish on this rod. Did you just miss one? You're supposed to catch it, man. From my limited real world experience thus far, one of my favorite attributes of these new Tatula 300s is the ability to send these baits a long, long way from the boat or the shoreline. Cast amazing. These Daiwa reels all cast incredibly. Uh, if you guys are familiar with the Tatula Elites or any of the Tatula series in the standard size reels, you're going to be really familiar when it comes to casting this larger size. Okay, and I'm excited to really um, slap around some big fish and lock that drag down, of which I believe it's rated to 27 pounds. 28.7 pounds of drag on this thing. So you can really hammer this thing down, control those big fish, and uh, catch more fish. Anyways, uh, I gotta rig these up. Parker's missing bites already, so I need to get going and tie some baits on and catch some fish. 
Uh, as always, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, if you guys are on the fence about picking one of these up to add to your big bait or deep cranking or inshore saltwater fishing arsenal, don't hesitate. Holler at Ben at the Hookup Tackle. We've got uh, links in the description below. Have some fun. And, uh, as always, thank you guys for tuning in, man. Big shout out to you guys. So subscribe to this channel here. Turn those notifications on. Leave us a comment. And while you're at it, subscribe to Parker. Lots of stuff coming his way. Until the next time. Catch fish, not feelings. You a keyboard pirate, my man. That's how the lot track is. It's the bitch. Catch fish, get him in the net quick. Cast for another stick. That real deal, raw, uncut, still chasing PBs, cause it's never enough. My drag, yeah. it's to make a catch fish, get him in the neck quick, cash for another step.